The retail industry has been going through significant changes in recent years due to the rise of online shopping and the after effects of the pandemic. Traditional brick and mortar stores have struggled to keep up with the convenience and flexibility of online shopping, and many companies have had to adapt their business models in order to survive. In this video, we'll be delving into Foot Locker's new Lace Up business plan, which involves shifting its resources to better performing stores and developing new concept stores outside of malls. We'll also be discussing the company's renewed partnership with Nike and how it could be a game changer in the industry. Additionally, we'll explore three new store formats Foot Locker is introducing and how they cater to specific niche markets. The strategic plan announced by Foot Locker to close more than 400 underperforming stores and shopping malls by 2026 is a significant move that will have a ripple effect on the company's operations and the retail industry as a whole. The decision to close these stores is a clear indication that Foot Locker is committed to adapting to the changing retail landscape and focusing on growth opportunities in other areas. One of the key areas of focus for Foot Locker is developing new concept stores outside of malls. This move is a strategic one, as malls have been losing relevance and foot traffic in recent years. By opening new concept stores outside of malls, Foot Locker is looking to tap into new markets and attract a different set of customers. During an investor day held in New York City on Monday, the company unveiled its new Lace Up business plan, which aims to revamp its approach to sales and marketing. The company's new Lace Up business plan, which involves closing as many as 420 of its 1,300 stores in North American malls by 2026. The goal is to shift resources to better performing stores, especially those in higher rated malls where sales have been consistently strong. The new plan is all about adapting to changing consumer trends and preferences. Foot Locker intends to open more than 300 new concept stores over the next five years, including locations outside of malls. These stores will be tailored to specific niche markets, such as sneakerheads, children, and higher income shoppers, and will offer a more personalized and immersive shopping experience. By targeting these specific groups, Foot Locker hopes to tap into previously untapped customer bases and provide a more personalized and immersive shopping experience. We are not abandoning malls entirely but we're refocusing our efforts on the stores that are the most profitable for us," explained Senior Vice President of the Store Development, Tony Aversa. The decision to close down 400 stores may seem like a significant loss for the company, but it represents nearly 10% of Foot Locker's total sales. Mall ratings reflect sales per square foot, and Foot Locker displayed a presentation showing sales at A and B rated malls increased by 8% since 2019. The company anticipates closing 25% of its locations in A and B rated malls and 50% of its stores in C and D rated malls. Perhaps the most exciting aspect of the new plan is Foot Locker's renewed partnership with Nike. The two companies have shared a vision of the future marketplace, aligning on growth plans and key strategic areas like basketball, kids, and sneaker culture. The partnership has the potential to be a game changer in the industry, as it allows Foot Locker to tap into Nike's extensive product line and customer base. According to Axios, Foot Locker CEO Mary Dillon said the company is revitalizing its partnership with Nike and has re-established joint planning, as well as data and insight sharing, so that they can better serve customers. This renewed commitment to one another is expected to pay off in the form of increased sales and customer loyalty. In recent years, Nike has shifted its focus to a direct-to-consumer strategy, reducing the number of traditional retailers and websites that are authorized to sell its products. Foot Locker's partnership with Nike, therefore, is a major coup, as it will allow the company to offer a wider range of Nike products to its customers and compete more effectively with other retailers in the market. This renewed partnership with Nike is expected to help Foot Locker achieve its goal of increasing its annual revenue by $1 billion to $9.5 billion by 2026. The company also plans to have about 2,400 stores, which is 300 fewer than it currently has. To achieve this, Foot Locker is intending to open more than 300 new concept stores by 2026, including shops located outside of malls. One of the most interesting aspects of Foot Locker's new business plan is the three new store formats it's introducing. These include a 15,000 square foot community store for locations with a strong affinity for sneakers, a 10,000 square foot power store that offers an elevated shopping experience, and a 7,500 square foot house of play stores that market children's products. In fact, Foot Locker has already opened a power store near Dallas, Texas that's attracting an older and higher income shopper. 
Dillon revealed that the household median income of the Dallas-Fort Worth store is 30% higher than the average in the company's fleet, which gives the company confidence in its growth plans. Foot Locker's focus on new concept stores and its partnerships with Nike and the company is willing to adapt to changing consumer habits and embrace innovation. The company's goal of having 50% of its revenue come from outside of malls under the new business plan is a significant jump from the current 35%. It's clear that Foot Locker is positioning itself for long-term success and growth in the ever-changing retail landscape. In this video, we talked about Foot Locker's new business plan, which focuses on adapting to changing consumer habits and embracing innovation. This plan aims to position the company for long-term success and growth in the ever-changing retail landscape. So what does this mean for you as a viewer? Well, if you're a fan of Foot Locker, you can expect to see some exciting changes in the coming years. Foot Locker is investing in digital technology and e-commerce capabilities, which means that you'll be able to shop online and in-store with ease. The company is also committed to sustainability, so you can feel good about shopping to support a brand that cares about the environment. But we want to hear from you. What do you think of Foot Locker's new business plan? Do you think it'll help the company stay relevant and grow in the long term? Leave a comment and let us know. And if you're enjoying this type of content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We'll be bringing you more informative and engaging videos about the latest news and trends in the world of business. Thanks for watching.